Hey guys, this is my new iPhone 15 Pro Max and this is the very first case which I've purchased for this phone. It's the Spigen Ultra Hybrid 01 and just look at that. It's not clear, it's not a solid colour. This is very different from the norm. So Spigen 01 collection has a design that represents what's inside the phone. So this design is different for every generation of iPhone and it's different for Samsung phones and Pixel phones. The design that you see here is what you will see on the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus and the Pro and Pro Max. So if you buy the case for one of the iPhone 15 phones, this is the design that you will get. Now it's maybe hard to show you here, but see these parts here where it looks like they're kind of screwed in. These parts are actually raised so you've got a textured feel at the back here. It's really nice, it really is nice. So I bought this from Amazon UK for £25.99. I have the black version, but a white version is also available. But at launch, when I bought this, it was only the black version that was available. Looking at the images of the white version, it looks really nice as well. And it was available a few days later. But I think that if you get the black or the white version, you're going to be happy. So this ticks a lot of boxes for me because it's not too minimal, but it's not too chunky either. It's not too heavy and it does offer some good protection. It's got a polycarbonate back and it's got TPU around the sides. And you can see that most things are protected. You know, you've got a little bit exposed there. The Type-C charging port and the speakers are exposed. But apart from that, everything is protected and very clickable. There's no issues there with pressing anything. All the buttons are there very easy to use and this case is also magsafe friendly it's got really good magnets in the back and you'll see this just now that will start charging like that you can see it's charging at the top there so yeah magsafe friendly all good starts charging so it's a magsafe friendly phone it's really nice to hold nice grip and as far as protection goes you can see that there's a little lip there, which means that you can put it down and it's not going to, you know, the screen's not going to touch the table. They say that the lip is 0 0.07 inches. That's what it adds as far as depth to your phone. Um, I am planning on adding a screen protector to my case, uh, to my phone soon. But even with a screen protector, I don't think there's going to be, I'll just open this up. I don't think that's going to be an issue with this phone because there's still enough room for it. So the front is protected there. And if you look at the back here, you can see that the camera lenses are protected as well, which means that you can put your phone down like that. You don't have to worry about the lenses being scratched or anything like, like that. So yeah, it's good. You know, I think with cases, it's always a balance. You know, if, if it's too minimal, you don't have any protection. It's kind of like why even use it, where if you opt, for ultra protection and you've got a lot of protection, you can you know do serious drops and nothing happens. That's great, but it also means that the phone is heavier. It also means it's bulkier. And I think the ultra hybrid range has got that kind of balance right. You know, it's kind of in the middle where it is not heavy, it's not adding a lot of thickness to the phone, but it does give you really good grip and it's still easy to you know use all the buttons, etc. So overall. Yeah, I think it's a really nice case. It's all about balance with cases, but um, it's a nice case, really nice design, good grip, ticks a lot of boxes, and it is, of course, MagSafe friendly. To find out more about this, please do check out the official website or check out the Amazon listing. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, so please do leave a comment below. And until next time, take care.